Guys, today I am going to be going around my entire zoo and we are going to be trapping all of the invasive species that are literally taking over and invading my property. And then there's actually one over here, so if we chase them down, we can try to get them. Come on, buddy. Come on. And we're just going to pour all of these crickets in. This is going to be our bait for the trap. This is crazy, guys. Look how many lizards we caught in this trap. What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day And for those that are new here Well, I'm Jacob and this right here is Theo jr. My assistant my capucha monkey my baby daughter If you guys have been here on the channel, you know all about Theo jr You know all about the crazy critters that call my jungle home and you can hear some of them right now. They're screaming they're going crazy, but if you guys are new here, then you guys don't know about this, and you guys are going to get to meet some of these guys. And for today's video, guys, today I am going to be going around my entire zoo, and we are going to be trapping all of the invasive species that are literally taking over and invading my property. Here in South Florida, it's a hot spot for invasive species, whether it's invasive snakes, invasive plants, invasive insects. Guys, we have got a little bit of everything, but today specifically, we're going to be targeting the invasive reptiles here at my house house we've got agama lizards we've got amoeba lizards and who knows what the heck we're going to trap and what we're gonna find because here in South Florida you never know what you're gonna find but before we can hop into today's video setting the traps checking the traps doing the whole thing well guys first things is first we have got a new animal here a new animal surrendered to me an animal that I actually hatched and produced years ago so to have him back in my life and back a part of my family well guys I'm so excited and I can't wait for you to meet him so before we set the traps I've got to introduce you guys to a very special new member of my family a very special lizard and that is Dino the Lewis eye hybrid this guy right here is Zeno and Zena's firstborn son this is actually the first lizard that I ever hatched out and he was very well taken care of by a good friend of mine and they are actually moving overseas so they decided to bring him over here so we could adopt him now you guys know Zeno and Zena over here you guys know he bit me pretty good at one point they're hanging out in here. So these are the parents right here. We got mom and dad right across from their incredible son. Dino right here has to be the tamest and the nicest lizard that I have ever met. So I can't wait to introduce you to him. So let's take him out. So right now we are opening up Dino's enclosure. Now all the lizards are getting ready to get major upgrades this winter. We're rebuilding everything. We're doing everything all over again. And look at this incredible guy. When I mean tame, he's absolutely incredible. So you can see this guy, he just wants to crawl right out on my shoulder just like this. Dino is the coolest lizard that I've ever met and you can see just how blue he is. Now, he might wanna run around just a little bit, but Dino is actually a Lewisai hybrid iguana. Now these iguanas are from Grand Cayman. At one point, there was only 75 of these Lewisai iguanas left on Grand Cayman due to habitat loss, poaching, feral cats on the island, eating these iguanas, but due to great conservation efforts, these guys have come back from the brink of extinction, and now they just released their thousandth iguana on Grand Cayman, which is an incredible conservation success story, that these guys were once an imperiled species destined for extinction, and due to some people like myself that care a whole lot, these guys were able to come back from the brink of extinction, and we are able to have an assurance colony here in captivity of these iguanas. Now, it is actually against the law to have purebred Lewisai, but we have these hybrids which are mixed with Cubans and they're pretty much almost purebred. You can see just how blue he is. This guy is just as blue as some of his wild brothers and sisters and it's just so amazing to have this lizard back. A lizard that I actually got to hold as a baby. If you guys look at this picture right here, this was Dino as a baby back in 2019. So it's so surreal and full circle to have him back here today at my conservation center where he's gonna serve as an educational ambassador for his species. So right now we are getting ready to set our traps but right here, this Literally right in front of us, our target species are here. Zeus is walking past one of the male agamas right there. Well, that's actually, I think, a young female. There's one there, and then there's actually one over here. So if we chase them down, we can try to get them. Come on, buddy. Come on. As you can see, these guys are so fast, it's nearly impossible to catch them by hand. So that's why we got to set our traps to try and get rid of these guys. Now, we've used our handy-dandy fish trap before. Not only is it good for fish, but it's good for all kinds of invasive species. So basically, what we're gonna be doing today is we are gonna be adding crickets to here. The crickets can't escape. The lizards will be able to crawl into the holes and then they're gonna be trapped. That is exactly what we want. So let's get started and let's bait the trap. So what we wanna do right now is we wanna open our crickets up and we're gonna add them in. We got about, I think, 50 crickets here, which I think is gonna be just enough. So we're gonna wanna shake all of our crickets off just like that, and as you can see, we've got a whole bag full of these crickets. So we're just gonna take our bag, 
we're just gonna slide it on in and we're just gonna pour all of these crickets in. This is gonna be our bait for the trap. And they kind of fell inside of that hole right there. But as you can see, the crickets are starting to move. So our trap is baited, it's set, and it's ready to go. And this right here is like a little hot spot. Right by my reptile shed, you can see there's one of these agamas right here. And I think she's interested in these crickets. She's gonna sit here. There's also amoebas that live underneath the shed. So I'm thinking that this right here is gonna be the perfect spot to put these lizards. So we're just gonna leave this trap here for now. Our trap is set, it's ready to go. And the only thing left to do is wait to see what we catch. This is the craziest thing. I wish I set a camera up, but there's literally, there's lizards everywhere trying to get into the trap. There's like three amoebas trying to get in. There's agamas. This is insane. I don't wanna spook them, but I wish I set a camera up. If we set a GoPro up, we would definitely be getting all this footage. But we got all the lizards trying to go in, but we don't wanna spook them. We just wanna keep our distance. Oh look, there's one coming out. It's really hard to see, but he's coming out and trying to get in the trap. There's just a ton of lizards trying to get inside of the trap and we wanna give them the best possible chance of getting in the trap. So by us standing there, it could actually distract them a little bit. So we're gonna walk away. We're gonna let these lizards do their thing and we're gonna head to the back avocado grove and search for some more creatures there. All right, everyone, so we made it to my back avocado grove and this is where we're gonna be searching for the first invasive species of the property. Now we already set our trap, so hopefully we're gonna be catching some things in that very soon. But in the meantime, I wanted to come back to the avocado forest to search for the animals. As you guys see on the floor, I have thousands of avocados and they're literally falling. And what happens when these fruit fall and they start to decompose, it attracts both native and invasive species because this is a food source for raccoons, for possums, for coyotes. And also the invasive species might like to eat it. I've actually seen amoebas eating avocados and that's what we're targeting in the other trap. So who knows what we could be dealing with back here and especially at the base of these trees. Over here at the base of these trees is the perfect hiding spot for these animals. If you guys come over here, you can see there's all of this leaf litter and debris. Now snakes, and frogs and tegus and maybe even pythons could be hiding in this leaf litter because this leaf litter goes several inches under the ground which makes the perfect camouflage and the perfect hiding spot for the animals and at the base of these trees the animals can find different little cavities where they can actually go if you look right here you can see there's like a little area right here where you can stick your hand almost entire ah whoa <sighs> something just fell on my touch me in there I, that really scared the crap out of me I wasn't expecting to feel that. That was crazy. Okay, well, we could be dealing with something in here. I mean, like, let's let's shine our light in here. Let me show you guys how deep this goes. You can see there's like literally an entire cave back here, a whole cave system leading back. If you come right here, you can see it goes all the way deep within there. But unless we have a snake cam, it's gonna be it's gonna be nearly impossible to tell what is living in there. What you can do is you can come over here and we can start lifting these logs. The logs are the starting point where snakes and other creatures might want to hang out. And then we want to get into this leaf litter by the tree. So if we start moving this leaf litter, right there, baby, right there, look. We moved the leaf litter and look what we found. It doesn't look like much. Can you guys spot it? Do you guys see what I'm talking about right here? If you go out, you can't even tell that this was here. But luckily for me, I have a trained eye in catching and locating these invasive species. So come right here. He's silent and he might be sleeping, but look. There is a cane toad right here. One of the worst invasive species that we have is sleeping inside of this leaf litter. Now, we're just gonna pick him on up just like this. Look at this guy. So here he is, right off the bat, he's secreting his neurotoxin poison, which is harmful and deadly to dogs and cats. This is one of the worst invasives that we do have here in South Florida. Not because they're gonna attack you, but because of the poison that they have can actually be fatal to your dogs and cats and other animals you might have. And for me specifically, We've got big cats here, we've got monkeys, we do not want these on the property. And if you squeeze the venom, you can see all of it come out. Not really venom, but poison. Both of these glands is loaded with this neurotoxin. You can see it just spraying and splatting on everything. Now that is the cane toad's natural defense mechanism against predators. Don't squeeze them, don't do what I do, because this stuff right here, if we were to touch our eyes, touch our mouth, touch our nose, it's gonna create a burning sensation, and well, we don't want that at all. The time has come and the moment is here. We are getting ready to check our traps right over here, and it is absolutely loaded with these invasive lizards. Now, I'm not sure what we have. We see a couple of gammas. The last time we were over here, there was one agama in there and all the amoebas were trying to get in. Now, it looks like, oh, look, there's another one trying to get in. One just ran up on the trap right there. Look, 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 it might go in. All right, we're gonna wait a second. We're gonna give it a minute. Oh, it's, it looks like it's about to hop in. Wait, we don't wanna spook them because if we can catch another one, that's what we wanna do. So we're just gonna wait here. Oh, she's going up. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. And, oh, she's on top of the trap. But she, look, she went on top right there. 
I'm not sure if you guys are seeing this, but she's going up on top. She hasn't quite figured out how to get on the inside, so let's just walk away. She's gonna probably run off. Guys, this is insane. Wait, wait, she's trying to get in still. Wait, 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 wait. Guys, this is so cool. <laughs> trying to get these guys in. Wait, let's just lower down, just like that. She's trying to get in. She sees all of her brothers and sisters in the trap, and she's like, what the heck are they doing in there? Oh, look at the big amoeba. Oh, and there's a big amoeba coming out. Guys, we have some serious live action going on right now. We've got amoebas, agamas, we got the whole crew here. Well, that other agama ran off, so we're here now to check our trap. This is crazy, guys. Look how many lizards we caught in this trap. We didn't catch one, we didn't catch two. It looks like we caught almost 10 of these invasive creatures. So let's take a count right here. So we have one of our amoebas right here. So this is an amoeba, which is kind of in the tegu family. And then we have the redhead African agamas, which are literally everywhere. So we got one amoeba and one, two, three, four, five, six agamas. This is so crazy that with a simple fish trap from Amazon, Amazon. I mean, this thing literally cost me $10. This is a simple, safe, and effective way to get rid of invasive species that could be living on your property, causing damage. So we're gonna take these guys to the shade and we're gonna take them out of the trap. All right, so we got a little container here to put all of our lizards in. So we're gonna keep that open just like that and we're just gonna reach on in. We're gonna try to catch these guys now. Oh, wait, they don't really wanna be caught. So we got one so far. We got one of these guys right here. This looks to be like a female agama lizard. You can see it's got this like neon green on the top of their head. Now the males will get really red and almost like a purple color, but these females don't get as colorful as the males. So we're gonna put him right in here. And we're gonna reach our hands in to get some more. And look at that, we just got our amoeba right here, which this is probably one of my favorite invasive species, a green amoeba. So this looks like it could be a female. It's kind of hard to tell, but the males do get these really incredible blue colors. You can see it's almost like an electric neon blue. And the males will have that blue all over their sides. They'll have green. But nonetheless, this is a beautiful little lizard. So we're gonna put this guy inside of here. And I'm sure everyone is wondering what the heck we're gonna be doing with these lizards. I've got friends all over the world that have some of the craziest animals. So we're gonna be rehoming these agamas where they're gonna live in captivity because we don't want these invasive species here. We honestly have so many of them. So we're gonna add these guys in just like that. And we gotta get the rest of these guys. Let's see if we can get them. Oh, we just got two more right here. And we're gonna go for our last lizard and boom, we got them. Just like that. We've got all of these incredible lizards here and we're gonna put them inside of this bin. Look at that, I wanna show you guys this, how crazy it is. So we wanna put the lid because these guys could definitely jump on out. This right here is a crazy container full of these invasive lizards. Beautiful nonetheless, but they're not supposed to be here in our South Florida ecosystem. What an insane day it was trapping the invasive species invading my property. We got a couple, but there is still hundreds more to go. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if we should set more traps and what species we should target next. And if you guys are not yet subscribed yet to me and you want to see the rest of my animal family, well guys, all you have to do is subscribe below.